All right, we are back. I've been away for a few days up to the northern part of Sweden visiting a friend of mine. I also gotta tell you, I got a new gadget. It's actually from my sister as a gift. I would never have bought it because I really didn't know it existed, but it's actually a tracking device. So it is a gimbal with AI functions. It's literally a camera that's tracking. So it's not a cameraman behind the camera right now. It's literally just my tripod with the camera moving. So this can be pretty crazy. Maybe not for my vlogs, I might keep it to the still format. I will see how, how you feel. Also comment if you like the, the fact that it's actually moving a bit during all my sets and my statics, or if you just like it to be still. I think that can be more easy to watch. But, it depends. but for other things like the tutorials and stuff like that, I think this can be really useful. Especially if I'm filming alone in the gym, I wanna do something down here, the camera is just gonna be able to track. So super convenient and just a crazy gift to be honest. So yeah, I do have the best sister in the world. My plan for today is going to be a full Maltese session. We have Maltese first, we have supinated full planche holds, and you know the, the basics, the, the normal standard routines I have. Since I've been away now for about four days, in, uh, just in the middle of nowhere, I haven't trained, which it sort of became like a deload session or a deload week without any training at all. So it's not what I prefer as a deload, but I will count it as a deload. So now I'm pretty fresh and I will keep pretty much pushing my limits. I feel really good about my body, so we should be able to get some solid holds for both the statics and the, the strengthening skills as well. Uh, but I guess we will see how it turns out. Let's get started. It's literally like now there's no tracking. But with this sign, boom, <laughs> the activist. I'm really fascinated. I'm probably just gonna be it for a few ones, then I'm get used to it. But now it's like really sci fi. Let's start off with some. Uh, Maltese holds. I got the preparation. We have the normal band aiming for like six, seven seconds. I think could be pretty solid. Let's get started. Woohoo! Felt pretty good. <clears throat> the AI tracking doesn't seem to be on point though. <laughs> I got lost there for a moment. But that was pretty solid. I felt strong in Maltese. Maybe it was slightly tighter than I usually do, not as wide. But either way, even if I were to go slightly wider, I still think the hole would be pretty solid. So let's have a look at the footage and then adjust for the second set. Let's do another set. I did check the footage and I think I was slightly tighter than I usually do and therefore making it easier. So let's go a bit wider than the previous one and see if I still can keep up to good holding time. Hey guys, need to see my face in order to actually recognize it. One thing I can also do is like, stop. I thought, yeah, there we have it. And there's no tracking. So that can be pretty good. Let's keep it like that for this one. much better form holy crap i think that was wide only you guys can tell but that was really good uh pretty solid with the uh, holding time and i think the form was way better than the first one let's keep it up for that third set now tracking on we fucking got it we fucking got it stop 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 how can it not see thank you the well, last one was pretty damn crazy. I think the hold was at least six seconds. The form was clean as fuck. The whip, really solid. Way better than the first one. And I also thought, think the legs were pretty high up. I felt that connection, so I wasn't having the bum pointing upwards, which is what we want. Connect that core, creates way better lean, and at the end of the day, it's a good form. And that's what we're after. Let's do a third set, see if we can maintain this destruction. Oh. Woo. Pretty damn good. Maybe these four days of just purely resting, not even activating the body, did me really well. Because I feel like energized as fuck. And I even weighed myself this morning. And 
I peaked, or I peaked now compared to a few weeks back at 88 kg. Still having this, still feeling shredded, feeling light. So it's been good now this calorie surplus just to feel more energized, full potential for recovery and we can destroy in the gym. Let's fucking get it. We are moving on to some straight arm full planche. Supinated full planche. That's the word for it. Let's get it. We got the full setup. Same band as last time as well. And um, the plan is to work myself up to like 10, 10 seconds. Pretty solid hold with this band before moving on to a thinner one. Because I want that long time and attention since I'm also training the other specific muscle exercises after this. I want all those muscles or the strength I gained there to just be transferred to my full planche. Because my body is super comfortable with the movement, I'm gonna be able to do that. But let's get it. Three sets of full planche holds. Perfect frame. This is still not fully cooperating. Now I guess we got the tracking. Fuck it. <sighs> not too bad. Definitely considering the Maltese being that strong, this one should be good and it was pretty good. I think the hips may be slightly too high up in the beginning, but after, after all, eight seconds probably hold, which is pretty damn good. Let's do two more sets. Let's move on. Another set, getting the signed angles so we can actually see my form and see where the positioning of my hips are. Preferably, they want to be slightly downwards, so we have that PPT connection throughout the whole body. Let's see if we can get it now. Doesn't want to. <sighs> Not too bad. I actually think that was pretty right. The band isn't helping that much either, which is really nice. I feel way stronger it feels. Doesn't really matter which progression you are, but those days where you really feel like you get the protraction because you feel light. You feel like you had the strength, that control. And then we have those shitty days where the protraction is like, you try your best, but you have no connection. You're just like, yeah, I'm protracting, but I don't really feel it. Today's the opposite, literally flying up there. So hopefully the hip was in a good position and then we're all right. Let's do one more set. Let's get it. One last set. I did check the footage and we can do better. It was pretty good. The holding time was great, but the hips, we can push it slightly more downwards, get that clean form. I was gonna see if I can point my toes, acting like a gymnast. But reality is also that it usually makes the form slightly better, easier to get connection, straight legs, and have that connection through the hip as well. So we'll give it a try. Pretty okay, I think. It felt like my protraction, I lost it slightly towards the end. More, I dropped it a little bit. Might be that I'm fatigued from all the other previous sets. But I also tried to actually focus on getting the shoulders more backwards. Then it's hard to get protraction, but the lean doesn't need to be as extreme because the center or the shoulder is getting closer to the center of mass. Not a massive difference, but it's warm, a small one. So that's a tip. And then I definitely pointed my toes. So let's see how the footage looks. And then it's time to move on to some straight arm races. Should be like 360 on this one as well. It's pretty sick. Stay hydrated, Gornesia. Probably the best can I ever had. If you have camera equipment and you don't want the, your bottle to leak, strongly recommend. I don't know if to sell them though. It's, it's like limited edition, but it's pretty sick. And for anyone wondering how the setup looks, this is basically it. So it is literally a gimbal if you just have it like this and uh, it can be manually controlled. But you also see this camera right here. That's the one acting with it, connected with AI. I don't know if it's gonna work now. Yeah, it is. So now it's green, it's connected. If I do like this, 
it should stop. Yeah, so now I can get it away and get back. Pretty damn sick. Probably one of the craziest gifts, most personal I ever got. So that's awesome. Let me know what you think about it. It might be a bit annoying every time it's moving, so I might keep it still for some vlogs, but there's definitely gonna be a lot of useful cases where I'm gonna use it. Let's move on, let's get it. I got my 15 kg set. Uh, it's the same weight I did last week, even though I feel really strong today. I'm thinking of, let's start with the 15, and if it's too easy, I might bump it up. But as we know with this exercise, this grip is just harsh because you need to actually hold the weight as well, making you fatigue in the forearms. But let's give it a try. I'm aiming for now 10 to 12 reps, I think for the first set. Well, let's see how we perform and then we adjust. Maybe now it's gonna work. Let's see. I think like right there. Oh, perfect. I think 10 is gonna be enough. It is heavy. Especially if we wanna do three sets and keeping the reps consistent. That's pretty solid. Let's do two more. Let's get it. Let's do another set. Need a bang of music though. And my playlist always in the description, as always. Ooh. Heavy as fuck, but doable. That's one. Let's see if we can do actually 11 reps on it since it's the last set. Why not just max it out? Crazy. And also with the pronated, it's harsh. Like I'm really strong in supinated, but pronated is a different thing. All right, so last time I did do 90 kg for the dips on the final set. Uh, but I'm thinking let's start off with dips and do 90 for the first one. See if we can maintain like eight reps for three sets. That would be pretty damn good. Let's get it, 90 kg. I didn't mention it last time, but these weights are actually pretty thin, which is convenient for really heavy dips. I'm also now like well, thinking about it, my weight in dips has just increased a lot that I, I have never trained it this consistent that I've been doing for the last months either, since the beginning of the year. So it's probably time for me to do a one rep max pretty soon as well. It's just a separate video, because I think the weight has increased a lot. 90 kg squat. Pretty harsh. Probably see if I can stop it here. No, this hand. No. Oh, I guess you just gotta follow along.
pretty solid. Feels slightly tired from the previous things, but I did do really well for the Maltese and stuff. But nice. It, it, it wasn't too hard. I think we can do actually three sets, uh, keeping up with the eight reps. There's also a life hack I want to show last time. Just open up this bracket and then get out. It's literally the quickest way and you don't need to mess too much. And usually the weights will stand up and quick to the end as well. First set was pretty damn good. Let's do another one. See if we can maintain the eight reps. This one to show as well. Like when you have this setup, literally just go on to your knees and fasten the belt. And most, maybe there's a few ones of you that do more uh, weight than me. And uh, then it's gonna be slightly more complicated as well. But if you just have slightly less this way, it's super easy to just get in and out. Then if you have more weights than this, probably use a rope instead. That's what I'm gonna go for if I bump up even higher. It's not gonna be within one or two weeks, but eventually we'll probably get there. Pretty good depth from them as well. I think I did sheet a bit on the first set with a few reps that wasn't deep enough, but this, no sheeting, I don't think. I'm also pretty sure that by the time this video is posted, the free calisthenics masterclass will be available. It's what I've been working on for the past months and now it's finally there. And the surprise that I haven't told anyone about yet is the fact that the plunge program for beginners will be available there. So if you want to get started on that program, jump on it, it's totally free. You get all the knowledge about how you progress with planche and then also how you start your actually programming or the structure with sets, reps, exercises, all of that. Then you have access to literally all the programs or the start of all the programs that I've done in the past. So that's the muscle up foundation, the pull up, the handstand and all of those crazy stuff. Then we have some secret stuff as well that I'm not going to tell you about but it's going to be there so it's for you to check out. I'll leave the link up here and also down in the description. Let's do the last set, 90 kg dips. Felt really good today so just love dips more and more every session I do them. I'm also going down to Germany in just a few weeks. I'm gonna beat up with Baki. He's the legend in one rep max and street lifting and maybe he can teach me some more tips when it comes to dips. Because I'm just some degree doing it for fun. Of course I have a lot of knowledge behind it as well since I'm doing it for a long time. But he's actually competing a lot in it. So uh, it's gonna be exciting. Maybe we can bump up the weights even more. We'll see. Now stop talking and let's do some reps. Mm. Fucking good. Like that's actually a big jump doing 90 kg for 8 reps compared to 80 kg 8 reps. Big jump. Telling you, D loads are extremely beneficial. That is gonna be it for today's session. It was a shorter one, only one workout actually, because I was away on the trips, so I skipped yesterday's, or I didn't record it, just did a short one. Uh, so today's gonna be slightly shorter. But then for the weekend, we're back on track with the normal ones, where we have one push and one pull session in one video. But I'm actually looking forward to it. My body feels really good. I was gonna see if I have the possibility to do a freezeless session pretty soon. Haven't done it in a while due to the weather and also a lot of traveling, but hopefully I get that one in there. Now, don't forget to comment what you think about the actual setup with the movement. I know I like it to some degree, but then for vlog style, it's really up to you since you guys are the ones watching it behind the screen. So comment what you think, if I should continue or not. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Choo-choo!